Are there some tools that you've come across in recent years that you wish you had a lot sooner? There are some that I know over, wow, almost 35 years doing this, but in the last five years, there's a few tools and most of them surprisingly affordable that I wish I had a lot sooner. And I'm gonna share those with you next. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, these tools are surprisingly affordable. Now I should say right up front, none of these tools or companies sponsor us. We don't have any sponsors. We're so good business-wise that way. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but actually we've intentionally avoided it so that our message is untainted. <laughs> and actually, you never wonder if I'm telling you something because somebody's paying me to say it. I, I have come across these things and I really use them. Up first, in no particular order, is the Woodpecker's Hook Rule. The six inch hook rule. Now they do make a 12, but this is great. You can keep it in your pocket. And many of you have probably noticed me with this in recent years. Because for many years, here's how I was measuring. I was coming up and putting my rule on the edge. Now, those of you who have, have digital calipers, you're probably shaking your head at me right now. So I get it on there and, uh, and I can measure and see it's pretty accurate. But the genius of the hook rule is as it says, you just hook it right on there. It indexes you perfectly at zero. Let me turn it so you can see it better. Right there, okay? So this is seven eighths, looks pretty dead on to me. And then it can work as a rule, you know, um, as well. But its primary purpose and ease is to just hook on and get a quick read nice. of dimension. Nice. Great. And it's about 30 bucks. So it's a fine tool. You'll probably get hooked. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Woodpecker. I saw that in their ad. Try this and you'll probably get hooked. Uh, but... You might, what I wanted to say was you might get hooked on Woodpecker's tools if you go to their website. They're not inexpensive, but they are finely made. We did a video of, of tour of that place and many commented. Oh my goodness, yes. Now I, I see why th their tools cost that much. They're worth it. So Now, coming up next, you regulars have seen me use this a lot and I always make my joke. It is the scalpel. Mm-hmm. This is non-sterile. Uh, this <laughs> they finally realized that I think that if they marketed these types of scalpels to the craft community, they could sure sell a whole lot more of them. So that's what they do. They sell these uh, with the various style blades, and when you do such fine work like putting in this compass rose inlay on this panel, it's a wonderful tool for that. But when you're doing that, you feel like a surgeon. That's the line. There are various size points, and I did have a conversation with said surgeon about the different size, style, and some come to a very narrow point. But I have found my personal preference is the 10A. This one that I have in there right now, the 10A. So we've got links to all of these. You don't have to look at them right now. But this scalpel itself costs about 12 bucks, but it's pretty economical to pick up a box of if you want to try the 10a maybe you want to try them before the scalpel comes with other ones but you can buy a box of 100 and it's about 28 25 28 bucks all right moving right along number three no particular order <laughs> is the harbor freight oh, light yes i have you guys have seen me using this in a number of the courses um it's got this flexible neck thing, you know, it's got three different light settings. So you get a bright, a medium, and then you get this little spotlight out the end. <laughs> What's cool is it can adjust an angle however you need it, but it's got a great magnet base. So you can put it right on your vise or something of metal. 
Sometimes I don't have something of metal and I want to put it in a particular place. So I'll, I'll just put my clamps on here and I'll throw this on and Ingenious. you can put it wherever you want it. You can get that raking light across your dovetails when you're cutting them. But what a great addition. I wish I had one of these a long time ago, but I'm glad I have one now. What's also cool is it's not battery powered, it's rechargeable. So you just plug it in. When it's run out and the next day, you'll have a lot, of, a lot of light right where you need it. Recently, I've discovered that if you take a card scraper and set it on your bench, you can just put it on the card scraper and now you have a base oh my gosh. that gets it stable. So you can, <laughs> look at that. I mean, you just got everything you need. <laughs> Yes, and Tom, it, you put it on your bandsaw, you've yeah, you put said, it on you, the mortiser, you've got you, it You can buy around. a few of them. Yeah. We bought six more for when we have classes so that when we're doing close-in fussy work, everybody has one at their bench, and they're just wonderful tools. The fourth is the quick, quick grip clamp from Bessie. This, this is the EZS458. Now you've probably seen me using these fairly fair amount lately, but what's so great about them, as many of you know, they're one-handed, but there's a lot of force for being one-handed uh, compared to the F clamp. Now, the, these Bessies also come in right around $30 just under that for this, this is an 18 inch. So you'll get 18 between it. Um, and the other sizes aren't that much different in price. You know, they go up a little for length, but not that much because it's just the bar. Um, but these exert like 425 pounds of pressure. That 425 pounds of pressure is way greater than some of the chintzy cheap ones you can buy at the box stores. Uh, this is a nice little quick grip clamp, but nothing like the pressure you get here. This is so good, you can use it on projects like this, like to clamp across a crest rail, and you can just crank it right on, and you'll see that like pull right up. I mean, that's a lot of force. And then you just pop and release. You can hear it, how much pressure that is. What I also like is they've got these larger pads. So it's a better area and the pads are really good. And it's a little deeper than three inches here, three and a quarter. Whereas these F style from Bessie are a little less deep and they have those smaller pads that are forever falling off. And sometimes they're actually hard enough that they'll dent certain woods because there's smaller footprint, right? So. They don't hold on as easily as these quick grip clamps. Now this is, the F series are a little cheaper than this, but, and they do give a little more force. These exert like 600 pounds of pressure, whereas these are a little over two thirds of that at 425. Now those are all, as I said, right around the $30 mark, give or take. But now we're gonna come in for the man who, or the woman, who has everything and would like to really splurge this Christmas. And they don't already have it. And that is the Festool Domino. This is an unbelievable tool. And it came out, I don't know, probably 10 or more years ago, not too long but I didn't get one until five years ago in like 2018. So I had tried them prior and I always wanted one because it's like a biscuit cutter, but unlike cutting a flat slot, it has a, a round cutter, almost like a router bit. And it spins like a router bit, but it also moves side to side while it's cutting and you're plunging. So instead of cutting a round hole, Check this out. I'll make a little cut on this piece. Now, this is basically a mortise cutting machine. So it, it cuts both sides of the mortise, so you're cutting floating mortises, and it's so easy. You just set it 
you mark a center line, set it on the workpiece. Let me make sure I'm square. Yep. And then here we go. And just like that, you have a mortise and then you slide in your tenon. This is a floating tenon. This is actually what they call the domino. So the domino, uh, the cutter here, this is the 500, the DF500Q. Uh, this is the one, it's a little over a thousand dollars. Seems like a lot, but there, these fast tools, the tools are so well made. It is a, a big step up from owning a simple biscuit cutter. It's cutting true mortises for full tenons. So you can buy, there's another version that's even a size up. I mean, you can build big, sturdy doors. But if you have the funds and you're into this, it's an amazing tool for quickly making furniture with quite strong joinery like this. Especially it shines on building things with rounded parts because you basically just have to figure out how to get that joining surface held and referenced at 90 degrees to this plate, plunge it in. It doesn't matter what is going on. You're going to be able to fit a mortise in there really well. So there it is. There are the five top tools that I wish I had a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> big mistake not getting these sooner. I wanted to, before people start getting off, we wanted to invite you to offer suggestions for future Shop Night Live topics. Um, we've got a form that you can fill out. It's very simple, your name and um, your suggestion. And in the description below, there's a link. Go there and pump anything into that that you might have. We can't guarantee we'll use it. Yeah, we can't but... guarantee if it's kind of an obscure topic or so specific to one piece of furniture, it's hard to make it a Shop Night Live topic. It's usually enveloped within a particular course building that piece of furniture. So something of um, a little wider appeal than a, such a narrow thing, but I definitely want to hear from you. What kind of things are you interested in seeing? And if we use your topic, we will definitely give you a shout out yeah, on the episode. Yeah, heads up that we're going to do it that night. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And I hope you got something out of it and useful and that maybe it'll up your enjoyment mm -hmm. and um, outcomes of your woodworking projects as well. So on behalf of the camera lady and myself, we look forward to seeing you next time right back here on Shop Night Live. Yay. Yes. Make it back. epic. <laughs> see you later. All Thanks right. So see much ya. for being here.